Good morning, everyone. How is it going today? Welcome to Friday. Again, Fridays mean something in our world. I'm pretty excited for the weekend myself. Have you guys been visiting the library since we've been open this week? We've seen quite a few faces that we've missed a lot, but there are still a lot of people we haven't seen yet. So if you're feeling up to it, we'd love to have you come down and hang out with us for a little while. So welcome back to Stories with Sunny here at the Rock Springs Library. We're going to talk about mermaids and pirates today. That is our, our theme for this week for Imagine Your Story for Summer Reading. It's mermaids and pirates. So hopefully we've got some mermaids and pirates out there that'll be excited for this one. So I'm gonna turn our ears on, get your fingers ready. We're gonna learn how to say pirate really quick. Why don't you take your hands and kind of cup them like this. You're gonna push them out. You're gonna put one hand right over your eye. That's how we say pirate in American Sign Language. Like you're on a boat, and maybe you're wearing an eye patch. You're a pirate. Does anybody out there want to be a pirate? That's not something I wanted to do when I grew up. But after I've read some of the books for this week, it seems like it might be a little bit more fun than I realized. First one we're going to read is called Pirates Love Underpants. Pirates are kind of silly. I wanted to show you this, though. Look at all the fun underpants on the book. That one with the moon, with polka dots. This one has a ship on it. Do you guys see a pair of underpants you like? So Pirates Love Underpants by Claire Friedman. These pirates so love underpants, they're on a special quest to find the fabled pants of gold, the captain's treasure chest. You guys see all the underpants hanging off the rigging of the pirate ship? Anchors away, the captain cries, hoist up black bloomer's sail, and for all the secret treasure map, pants pirates never fail. Black bloomer bobs upon the waves, the captain shouts, hooray! Sharks in fancy underpants, we found Big Knickers Bay. I like the shark wearing the flowered underpants. Which one do you like? You got paisley and polka dots. The pirates grab their shiny swords and row their boats to shore. Yikes, me hearties, what is this? Someone's been here before. You see all the footprints? The footprints lead through shifting dunes across Three Pants Ridge. Snap, snap, snarl hungry crocs beneath the Long John Bridge. See, you see all the, the pirates? I, it looks to me like all these pirates are wearing their underpants on the outside of their clothes. Is that where you wear your underpants on the outside? The pirates wade through gurgling swamps, through caves as black as night. They trek through prickly undergrowth and, oh, what a sight. We're here too late, the pirates gasp. Another pirate crew, they found the golden underpants. What are we going to do? The captain has a cunning plan. It's clever, it's fantastic. Grab their fancy underpants and cut through their elastic. If you cut the elastic off your underpants, what do you think would happen? As the rival pirates sleep, they snip round on tiptoe, but help the captain's pirate squawks and wakes them up. Oh no. Grab those pants, the captain roars. They're after us, ooh, arr. But with the pants around their feet, they don't get very far. Look at that. Yo ho, ho ho, the pirates dance. Find treasure fills our hold. But what's the booty we love best? The glittering pants of gold. So when you put your pants on, check the elastic is in place, or like those silly pirates found, you'll have a bright red face. We've got more underpants. Have you ever been walking around and your underpants just fell down? I haven't had that happen to me, but I imagine it'd be pretty embarrassing, don't you? Okay, so we read a book about pirates. Do you wanna read a book about mermaids next? I have one right here, it's called Julian is a mermaid 
I'm gonna hold it up a little closer so you can see, see his super fabulous hair and his really cool tail. When I was younger, every time I went to the swimming pool, I would pretend that I was a mermaid and I would swim under the water. I absolutely loved it. Let's see, here's Julian and he's in the big old swimming pool. Do you think he's pretending to be a mermaid? I think he might be. So Julian is a mermaid by Jessica Love. You see our, our mermaids over here as well. Let's scoot up closer so you can see the pictures. They're pretty fabulous in this book. This is a boy named Julian and his abuela. Abuela means grandma. And those are some mermaids. Julian loves mermaids. Oh, Julian's gonna, gonna imagine for a minute. See, he's sitting on the bus. He's imagining that he's underwater. And look, he's growing his big mermaid hair. And a big school of fish swim by. There's an octopus and a manta ray. And the fish gave him a mermaid tail. Here he goes. Vamanos, mijo. This is our stop. And he waves goodbye to the mermaids. Abuela, did you see the mermaids? I saw them, mijo. Abuela, I am also a mermaid. And his abuelo says, okay, I'm going to take a bath. You be good. Julian has a good idea. You see what he does? He kick off his shoes. He takes off his shirt and he kicks off his shorts. Come over here. What does he find? Is that a big plant in the house? He takes some of the leaves to give himself some really pretty mermaid hair. And he finds some flowers. He decorates his hair some more. But right here, what is Julian missing to be a mermaid? What does he still need? Hmm, he still needs a tail. So he ties it around and there he is. Does Julian look like a mermaid to you? He looks like a mermaid to me. Oh. Uh-oh. Would you get in trouble if you picked all the leaves off of a plant at home and took the curtains down to make yourself a tail? I would have gotten in trouble. So here's Julian, his tail, here's Abuela. She says, come here, mijo. For me, Abuela, for you, Julian, hold it up. She's got a necklace that's gonna match his tail and his hair. And off they go. Where do you think they're gonna go? Where are we going? You'll see, says Abuela. <gasps> Mermaids, whispers Julian. Let's see, we've got an octopus, a mermaid, maybe a lionfish, maybe some jellyfish here. Like you, mijo, let's join them. Do you see the whole parade? Look, there are our original mermaids over here. And they do. You guys see all the different, the different sea creatures, our mermaids and our manta rays, everybody. And there's Julian being a mermaid, just like the girls who are leading the parade. Here we go. Here's Julian with his purple and yellow tail. There's Abuela with her pretty design. If you were a mermaid, what color would your tail be? I think I would have a gray tail. That's my favorite color in the whole world is gray. And I think that would make a really pretty tail swishing in and out of the sunlight. You can take your hands and put them kind of like this, cross one over the other, and just flip them twice, one, two. That's how we say mermaid in American Sign Language. Mermaid. Yeah, all right. One book left. I gotta see where I put it. Here we go. This is Ned. Ned is a pirate who likes to knit. Do any of you knit? My mom is an amazing knitter and I have some friends who are amazing at it. I never learned. I can't get my fingers to work quite right. I think I overthink it. 
If you guys have any cool knitting projects, I'd love to see pictures of them though. So here's Ned, our knitting pirate by Diana Murray. And what do we have here? Is that a mermaid? Mm -hmm. Maybe the mermaid will be part of Ned's story too. Listen to the legend of the crew that sailed the deep aboard a tattered pirate ship they called the Rusty Heap. Pirates were a rugged lot, as fierce as they were strong. And as they swabbed the deck one day, they sang a pirate song. You see our mermaid over here too? We're pirates, we're pirates, out sailing the sea. So scruffy and scrappy and happy are we. We're tougher than gristle and barnacle grit. We heave and we hoe and we swab and we knit. The whole crew turned and stared at Ned. The ship was deadly quiet. Yar, said Ned, I like to knit. You might too, if you tried it. The captain stomped his wooden leg. I won't be hearing that. A scurvy pirate doesn't knit, nor wear a fuzzy hat. Hmm, who do you think made that roll? If you were a pirate, would you want to knit? I think I might. They sailed onto an island where the crew began to dig. And when they found the treasure chest, they sang and danced a jig. We're pirates, we're pirates, out sailing the sea. We do what we like, and we like to be free. We ain't scared of nothing, not one little bit. We heave, and we hoe, and we dig, and we knit. The crew was all in stitches, but the captain's nerves were frayed. Yar, said Ned, I likes to knit. This hat be custom made. The captain shook his golden hook. I won't be hearing that. A scurvy pirate doesn't knit, nor wear a fuzzy hat. The pirates bought the chests aboard and counted each doubloon, then cooked a batch of squid ink soup and sang another tune. We're pirates, we're pirates, out sailing the sea, as scary and hairy as any could be. We're grouchy and slouchy, we don't ever quit. We slurp and we burp and we gulp and we knit. The captain got so mad, he turned as red as lobster stew. Yar, said Ned, I likes to knit and that be what I do. The captain stomped and shook his hook. I'll not have knitting talk. You'd best not knit another stitch or down the plank you'll walk. So Ned went sadly to his bunk and stowed his hat away. He packed his needles, balls of yarn, and skull trim applique. He folded up his blanket with the Jolly Roger crest and stashed it with the knitted scarves, the mittens, and the rest. That night, Ned heard a mighty splash. A chill raced down his back. The captain yelled, all hands on deck, prepare for an attack. And just as Ned appeared, it was a briny ocean beast who loved to snack on pirate ships, his favorite floating feast. His tentacles were thick with slime, his eyes a ghastly yellow, and cannonballs bounced off his side as if his skin was jello. Yum. The hungry beast ripped through the sail and gobbled down a chunk, while Ned raced back to quarters and dragged up his knitting trunk. Hmm, what do you think Ned's gonna do? The captain yelled, Avast! This be no time for knitting, Ned! But Ned rolled out the catapult. I've got a plan, he said. Ned's blanket soared into the air and landed with a slap. The beast was oh so cozy, he could not resist a nap. He yawned a great big yawn and swam back down into his den. Another hundred years would pass before he'd wake again. There's our mermaid again, tucking in the sea monster. The pirates danced aboard the ship and sang, yo ho, hooray, three cheers for Ned the knitting pirate, hero of the day. And how'd the pirate fix the sail? Knit one, purl two, repeat. The pirates knitted together till the new sail was complete. 
The crew aboard the Rusty Heap went on about their duties while wearing fuzzy hats and scarves and knitted pirate booties. But they were still a rugged lot, as fierce as they were strong. And every time they swabbed the deck, they sang this pirate song. We're pirates, we're pirates, out sailing the sea. We do what we like, and we like to be free. We're tougher than gristle and barnacle grit. We heave, and we hoe, and we swab, and we knit. There's Ned. Here we go. Can you see Ned's knitted cape that he's wearing? So what do you think? Should there be a rule? Should pirates not be allowed to knit? I don't like rules like that. I think any rule that tells you you aren't allowed to do something just because of the job that you do, I think it's no good. All right, guys. So that's what we've got today. We are pirates and mermaids all week long. The new grab and go bags will be out here at the Rock Springs Library. And I'll show you some of the things that are in ours. You can make a mermaid in a clamshell. Your puppet this week, we made Julian, is going to be a mermaid puppet. You can make your mermaid a girl or a boy. We decided to make ours based on the book that we read. You can make a big pirate map to come and color in and fill in with your name and your favorite authors and books and hobbies and everything else. If you do one of these, we would love it if you would take a picture and share it with us. And all of our bags are going to have a pirate craft of one kind or another inside of it that you can do. It'll be a surprise, whichever one you get home. We're also doing our coloring contest and we have a little scavenger hunt going on in the building as well. So you should definitely come down and check that stuff out. The White Mountain Library. Miss Sherry is doing some awesome stuff with frogs this week. So there's a whole little activity pack of stuff you can do all about frogs. And then it doesn't look like a whole lot yet, does it? You can make a little frog blower with a balloon. So that's pretty awesome. Have to go pick one of those up. And Miss Becky over in Green River at the Sweetwater County Library has these super cool moon lander toys. And for all of my sticker lovers out there, there's a NASA sticker in each one of them too. Super, super fun. So make sure you check those out. And if any of you love pirates and just had so much fun and can't wait for another pirate story, make sure you check in with Mr. Aaron today at two. He's doing pirate stories and he has been, I think, all week long. The one yesterday was fabulous. And remember, if you missed any of them and you want to go back and watch, you just go to the video tab on our Facebook page and all of the videos we've done so far are saved there and you can just watch through all of them as they go. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today and hopefully we will see everybody in the libraries to come pick up your grab and go kits and come say hi and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.